Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank. We spent a fair amount of time talking about the features and the functionality of the Movi, but today I want to talk about the accessories that go around it. So we're going to build the Canon C300 on my M10 with the Canon Cine Prime, and we're going to show you a few accessories to really optimize its performance. Before I get into building the Movi with the accessories, I want to talk about power distribution and this product from Red Rock. This is a universal uh, pack, and what it allows me to do is to distribute power from my LiPo battery here for the Movi. And not only that, it is regulating the power as well. When we fully charge up this LiPo, it can easily be over 16 volts. So what this product allows me to do is take the 16 volts in and then output it and regulate it from any potential power spikes I might get from a battery. On the bottom of the box, I have quarter 20, so I have plenty of places to mount it. And I also have this silk screen, which is a schematic of the pin connections on the bottom of these connectors, the uh, positive and negative terminal connections, as well as how much power I can expect to get out of each of those connections. The two three pins right here are 12 volt outputs. This two pin is unique. It has this blue knob here that can be turned with a flathead screwdriver and that will actually change the amount of voltage coming out of the box. This is really handy if you're working with a camera that has a power requirement of say 7.2 volts. So I'm going to plug in my LiPo and the first thing you're going to see is the voltage on my LiPo right now. And there you go. I'm going to push the black button next to the LCD. And now you see it's 7.2. If I leave it alone, it's going to jump back as a default and show me what the power on the battery is. And I'll probably see it flip over in a second. And I'm going to go in and there it goes. I'm going to push it again. And now I'm going to turn this blue knob. And you can see that now I can roll through and change it to the voltage I need for the camera I'm working with. On the top of this, by the way, I have something called dual lock. This is not part of the universal pack, but I just wanted to point it out because dual lock is really heavy duty uh, Velcro and it has uh, the ability to handle a lot of weight. It's very stable and it is a great thing to have on hand when you're doing a Movi build. As you can see, this is pretty much a bare bones build right now. I haven't really done much of anything, but I do want to bring to your attention the accessories that I'm putting onto the camera to make the build quicker and easier. And we're starting off with this plate from Wooden Camera. This is a traditional cheese plate that has a bottom that allows it to go into the uh, cold shoe at the top of the camera. This is traditionally where we would put in our LCD finder. So we replace that with this and because of the cheese plate on the top here, I also had the ability to put on this L bracket. This is also made by Wooden Camera. And this is going to allow me to put uh, or get real estate. That's going to allow me to power up accessories and have a mounting surface for various other accessories. This is the base station for my micro remote or my wireless focus from Red Rock. And I wanted, before I put it onto the camera, I wanted to point out that I'm going to be using these cables. These are new cables from Red Rock. Really fantastic. They're called flex cables. And as their name implies, they are super lightweight. And unlike rubberized uh, cabling, this really don't, they don't retain a memory. Uh, they can be bound up and take up very little space. They weigh next to nothing. Kind of the way to think about them, they're as heavy as the connectors that are put on the ends of them. It's a very handy new product, especially when we're in a tight quarters on our Movi build. To change focus on my build here, I'm going to use a torque motor from Red Rock, and that's going to go right onto the 15 mil platform from the Movi. Now, Great things about this motor, very adjustable. First of all, it has this uh, tie down level or lever that is fully adjustable. In other words, I can pull it out, relocate it, and have the ability to lock it into pretty much anywhere I want. In addition, the motor slides up and down on a track. And we also have the ability to take the actual motor that, or the gear rather, that interfaces with the lens, and I can change it from side to side. This really optimizes how flexible this thing can be. And 
Also helps me get the gear located into a lens when I get a little cramped for space. For this particular build, I've opted to put the power pack off to the side of the camera. However, I could have just as easily mounted it up here on the crossbar of the Movi. In either case, I still have two power outputs, so I could dedicate one to a transmitter, or I could use this flex cable like this one that is dedicated to powering up things like my TV logic. This way I can power all my accessories from one point, and I also uh, don't have to have a battery on my Movi lightening the load. I built my wireless focus on the C300. As you can see here on the side, I have the LiPo battery plugged into my flex cable. That in turn is powering up the receiver for the wireless focus. And I have my power pack here lit up. It's telling me I have 14.9 volts left on the LiPo. One of the nice features built into the power pack is that it will alert me when the LiPo gets to 12 volt. If this alert wasn't there, the potential would be for the LiPo to drain down to a point where it wasn't usable anymore. So it's a really nice safeguard built into the power pack. With camera stabilization platforms, every ounce counts. And there's always a desire to find a lightweight and flexible sunshade solution. This is the Bright Tangerine Misfit Atom, and it fills those requirements with an innovative design. It weighs just 0.75 ounces with one 4x5 filter installed. The unit can hold a combination of 4x5 or 4x4 filters, and it has this innovative design where the filters can be laid flat or at an angle to reduce flare. If I want to reduce the weight even more, I simply can peel the sunshade off, and I'm left with the frame itself for the filters. On the bottom, I have tabs that will accept a 15 millimeter lightweight rod adapter, and on the back is a 114 clamp ring, and I can install various adapters that will make this adapt to pretty much any diameter out there. That wraps up our look at accessories for the Movi. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.